folks, it's Antar, and it's my favorite part of my upload schedule. It's time for me to upload a little cup battle. Uh, my opponent today is G Flow of Smogon. He PM'd me asking for a battle, and I was like, yeah, sure, that sounds great. He's running a Hail Team leads off with Snover, and I'm expecting this to be some kind of Scarf variant, and I'm not expecting to survive the turn, so I get to go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks, because so many Pokemon on this team are weak to it. Uh, he is going to go ahead and withdraw his Snover. It turns out he's not a Scarf set, nor is he really an offensive set, it looks like. I go ahead and go for the Excisor on the Switch. Um, he recovers all of that health back with Oran Berry. I guess Oran Berry is the better item to have on Hail Teams rather than Eviolite, because, you know, Eviolite is not going to help you out with the Hail damage. So I send out uh, Neela here. Uh, going to go ahead and set up my screens. He's going to go ahead and send out Volibi, and I'm kind of afraid of this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and U-turn out, although I, you know, I don't, so basically don't want to take a Dark Pulse because I think a lot of them do run Dark Pulse. Switch out, go ahead and go into Hermione, who should be able to resist that hit. Instead he goes for the Pluck, was not expecting that, and he eats my Lumberry. That's actually going to be hella unfortunate. I go ahead and go for the Shell Smash here, uh, just to double my attack and my speed and whatnot. And he's going to go ahead and go for the Toxic. So Toxic in Little Cup is something you don't really see every day. Um, stall is really not an effective strategy in Little Cup, at least I have not seen Little Cup stall yet. It's clear that he's trying to do it, but I don't think he's really doing it successfully. At least it's not successful against my team. I'm trying to, you know, hedge my bets. You know, someone's gonna post in the comments, Oh, I use stall in Little Cup all the time, it's awesome! And so I don't wanna, you know, say, oh, stall can never work. Anyway, back to the battle. Um, round of damage back and forth. I actually should have switched out this turn, although it really wouldn't have mattered because the residual damage um, would have been too much. Anyway, Hermione is down, but I've also taken out his Tyrogue. I go ahead and send out Angler. He sends out a Cyndaquil. The Cyndaquil actually reminds me a lot of the Cyndaquil that I used to run in 4th gen. You'll see why. I'm predicting the switch. Was not predicting the switch into Snover, but I'm happy uh, nonetheless. Uh, he recovers some health back with Orin Berry, and I'm thinking I can probably two-hit KO this guy. Uh, he he goes ahead and energy balls me, I'm thinking I can survive, and indeed I do with 12 HP, so I'm thinking one more ice, uh, ice beam, I should be okay. He obviously thinks the same thing, goes for the ice shard, gets a crit, otherwise that would have done no damage at all. He actually survives with a sliver of HP, switches out into Cyndaquil, and you know is, I guess, trying to stall me out. Cyndaquil's back up to full HP thanks to that Orin Berry. Uh, ice beam does nothing. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and have to, or I'm gonna die this turn actually due to a double kick. I think I'd forgotten about the Orin Berry here and had assumed that this guy was a Scarf variant. Um, by the way, a double kick is not the physical move to run on Syndical this generation because it gets Nature Power now, and Nature Power it turns into Earthquake. So yeah, um, doing some wishing here, expecting to die. Don't die, which is nice. Um, but it also means that I'm going to have to actually do a switch rather than just, you know, a free switch. Uh, Cyndaquil is going to take some damage from Quick Attack, but nothing that that wish won't uh, cure me of. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Eruption, and I'm ready for a Cyndaquil sweep. Um, eruption against Cyndaquil, you might be like, what the hell was that? It's resistant. As you saw, I took it out at that range of health. There wasn't any danger of that. Sends out Swinna, but I'm thinking I can sweep through his entire team. But my, free, his, my attack misses thanks to Snowcloak. So Bernie gets taken out by a super effective Earthquake, and my hopes of a Cyndaquil sweep are dashed. I send out what appears to be my Dark Smoke Puncher, take out out with a Hidden Power Fighting. This isn't my Ghastly at all, this is my Zoroa. He sends out Drifloon, obviously thinking it was my Zoroa. Um, not thinking, or not thinking it was my Zoroa. I take out his Drifloon, and is that the end of the battle? Not quite. He's got a Snover left. And uh, Snover dies due to the Stealth Rock damage, and that's the end of the battle. So comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.